President, uh, thank you. As a Scottish European, I've uh, long wondered how I'd feel today. And the answer is I'm heartbroken. Not for myself, but for the people I serve for future generations. And Scotland will not be silent within this process as our rights are taken away by an administration we not, not support, by a vote that we clearly rejected, and a process that is demonstrably against our interests. I'm also, while being heartbroken, also angry. I'm angry at this process. I'm angry at the way the UK is representing itself, doing a bad thing badly. Well, colleagues, Mrs May, Nigel Farage does not speak for Scotland. Do not speak for me. Do not speak for 48% of the UK's population. <laughs> the UK is not one block much as Mrs May would like it to be. The UK is a complicated set of various interests, all of which are better reflected in this resolution than in anything the UK government has put forward to date. Scotland will not be silent in this process. And Scotland's top priority, in the words of our First Minister Nicola Sturgeon, is to keep our citizens safe. Scotland is your home. You are welcome here. I appreciate that nothing is agreed till everything is agreed, but please, colleagues, let's make our citizens feel safe. Our citizens from the UK and other countries and from our nations in ours. Let's deal with that first. Let's deal with that fast. Let's deal with it now. Thank you. Thank you.